So welcome back to this short video on showing you the generic Cube Series defibrillator monitor interface, uh, which I think is beautiful. It's seamless, it's simple, uh, and highly intuitive to interact with. It gives you manual mode, SAED mode, pacing, gives you a series of different screen settings for um, your typical kind of in hospital patient monitor to ICU monitor look and feel and different number size. You can do full 12 lead ECG and send that ECG to the participant tablet as well so that they can analyze it um, for uh, lead changes as well. And it's also integrated with the um, ventilation and CPR sensor. So I'll just turn on the device and give you a quick orientation to it. So what you'll notice on the uh, left-hand side of the device, this is where we have our defibrillation. So we have our AED mode and our manual mode. And just to emphasize the uh, tones and the prompts, I'll press the AED option. Don't touch the patient. Analyzing. So this rhythm is obviously a normal sinus Shut rhythm. Start CPR. So hopefully you heard all of those cues. And then I'll take that off again. And what I'll do now is pop it into manual mode and I'll charge that up. And down the bottom of the screen, you can see where it's charging. There's no charge tone. Uh, I believe in the deeper settings, you can change it. And now we can defibrillate, but we're not going to. I'll just um, disarm by just changing the joulage. So I've done that. Um, down here, we can run pacing. So we can change the current and the frequency so that we can get capture. And uh, further down, we even have a, a metronome and it gives you a variety of options. So 15 to two or two to 15 and 30 to two. Um, so for example, if I pick one of them, just so you get an idea of what I mean. So I've changed that to 30 to two and then you'll get the last five compressions that should happen. The tone will change for them. And then for the two breaths, you'll get a different tone as well. So really nice feature. Uh, down the very bottom, we have the home icon or button. So if ever you wanna get back to the home screen, that's all you need to press. And then we have the 12 lead ECG. So if I now connect everything up, which I should have done first, I apologize. I could have edited this video, but of course I'm taking a shortcut here. So now what should happen once I start the scenario, um, Once I start the scenario, I'll be able to put leads on and then show you the 12 lead ECG. And then I'll connect up the cube airflow. And hopefully this is just demonstrating to you the ease at which we can connect everything as a system um, because it really is seamless and beautiful to use. So we've got everything running. I'm just going to start a scenario on the fly. And now I'll put on some monitoring and I'll put on 12 lead and we've got everything on so we're good to go okay so now what i'll do is i'll go back to just showing you the uh, 12 lead ecg and to do that i actually need to turn off the manual mode on the device and now we're getting our dynamic 12 lead but of course what if i want to um, assess that 12 lead for ecg or lead changes um, or diagnostic purposes so i'm going to print that and what will happen when i hit print it opens up an image of it here. It opens up an image of it on the participant tablet and it shows you on the um, instructor tablet as well. So I can just slide that away, but I can analyze it here and I can get rid of that if I want as well from the instructor PC. So I didn't need to do that again, but you can never, you can never have enough access to a good 12 lead. So now I'm going to go down here and tap the blood pressure icon, so it's just cycling the blood pressure. So whatever we set the BP to, which looks like it's set to 122 on 82. And this is where it's going to come up, 119 on 86. So it's reasonably close. I'll, uh, I'll take that. And then we have our alarms, and then I'll activate this button, which gives us access to 
different um, vital parameters. So it's on the left. If I tap again, I can go waveforms at the top. If I tap home, we'll go back to home and then I'll tap it again and we can get numerical. So you can see that you have the flexibility to change those on the fly very easily. And I'll go back to home again. And then the last thing, just to show you, here's a preclinical setting. Here's your ICU monitor setting. And then last but not least, we have your general patient care monitor setting as well. And then I'll tap back to go back to the home screen. So hopefully that's shown you the, uh, the great features and benefits of the generic defibrillator monitor uh, Cube Zero from SkillCube. It works in the exact same way with the ventilation sensor, CPR sensor, and of course the participant tablet. Uh, I hope that's been a useful walkthrough. And bear in mind that if you purchase a, a full Q, Skill Cube Cube series, um, you will also get the ventilation generic ventilation skin as well as the um, the de defibrillator monitor skin and your main device skin if that's what you would like. You can, if you want, just purchase the system that has the generic products without having to buy a industry device interface such as the Zolex series or Q, uh, the, Q, uh, the um, Corpulse system or the, the Schiller or Stryker, etc. So I hope that's been helpful. If you need any other information, please reach out to simulation.com.au or email us at info at and have a great day. Thank you.